In this video, I will give you my takeaway between like the Wi-Fi dev board for the Flipper Zero and the ASP32. Both are able like to host the Marauder firmware um, because like they're running like ASP32 ships. Um, and the div board like have some like um, specificities. I will not go too much in detail for now because like like I'm still discovering this board at the time we speak. So right now let's say you already have like a, a flipper zero or you want to buy one. So okay, that's one fact. The second point is like you also want to use like um, the flipper zero to experience our uh, Wi-Fi offensive and defensive uh, tool. Okay, so right in your pocket, like you could have uh, both of these two things in in a way. Like thanks for like the Flipper Zero um, developer um, and debugger module. It's based on an ASP32 S2, so you could flash it and have like some more firmware. So keep in mind, this board was like um, first designed to be a debugger and a programmer. So when you buy this, you're paying extra because it's it's a development board. OK, so here I bought it to do uh, development. Because like I'm newbie and why not? I want to learn. And okay, I might still just flash like um, the model firmware like to, to compare with like uh, a random ASP32. But here basically you could already see like one is like ready to use. So I think that's the main advantage here. Uh, because like you have like everything soldered. Like maybe you want to add a print like um a nice housing case to, to protect it. So that's really what I see here. So here, like for me, like, okay, if you're ready to, to pay uh, extra, you, you got everything ready. For the ASP32, okay, so depend like the type of board you, you have here, you will have like uh, to do like some wiring. So for this, you will have to use like the wiring for like um, the breadboard. Okay, you could also like use um, PCB, like generic PCB, like and of course like you will need like to to have the pin. So if you don't have an iron or you're not comfortable to use it, okay, that's definitely not something for you. And if you still find it's a bit like annoying to use like some. Um, it's a random like a PCB. You could buy like prototype board for like um, the Flipper Zero. Okay, so they, they are, they are, I think like with the design easier to to plug in. So here, if you want to achieve the same thing, you might need to to cut them. So I would say it's not handy, but if you want to learn and solder, I think it's a uh, it's a nice nice start. Okay. Also, one thing like I want to to highlight here, it's like if you want to, to capture some packets um, here, you will need like for both situation, like solder, like a SD reader. So people put like usually in the back, if you look on, on Google or Reddit, it's really nice, uh, nicely done. And here, like for the ESP32, so you're like either if you use on a bread on a breadboard, you could like uh, plug it everything with the wire or even solder it. So me, I will like keep like um, using like a dedicated hardware for the motor. So, you know, I will have like my, let's say pouch and each like uh, module have a function and I stick to that. And for like development, this will stay at home and just like to do other tests. And I might also like um, solo like other pins to, to make additional tests. So that's